Hello guys, welcome to Inspiring Minds. In today's video, I'm going to talk about things which can help you stay safe while studying or traveling abroad. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and hit the bell icon. Welcome to Inspiring Minds. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Mostly all the countries are safe, but still, you should take these precautions to avoid any mishappenings. Six points I'm going to tell you today. First would be, always be aware of your surroundings. Don't roam around in the unfamiliar areas and always remain alert. Don't go out alone at night. Even if you're with your friends, try to stick to the places those are well lit and where there are many people. Obey your hostel timings. If your hostel timings are like you, you you should be in the hostel at 8 p.m. then you should be in the hostel before that time third don't flash expensive things gadgets or your mobile phones on the streets avoid carrying large amount of cash try to carry ATM or debit cards with you Try to use public transport, but still if you want to use the taxi, use only the official companies. Fifth, keep at least one ID card with you always. In case of any emergency, call the helpline number of that country and as soon as possible, you should report your own country's embassy as well. Sixth point. Be careful with the alcohol. If you drink, then only drink with the people you know and trust. Now I want to add some points like when you are traveling in the public transport or on the streets, you should be little polite and you should not speak loudly with amongst yourself or with the locals. And try to avoid any political discussion about that country or any internal matter of the native people because you are a foreigner so you should uh, like take precautions with this thing with these things to stay away from any mishappening so any any disturbance i guess i have made my point pretty much clear i uh, i have made this video because i was getting many complaints or uh, messages from the students those who are studying in kyrgyzstan or kazakhstan they were not feeling safe. So in case of those things, try to contact your embassy and the people those who have sent you there. They might help you more in, in these cases. Okay guys, see you in the next video.